Hello and welcome back to another fire video. We just arrived back from the MBA and today I am and t and tonight as a special treat I'm gonna get I'm gonna take you guys on a very special tour of Dixon Fire Department station number one here in South Dixon, Missouri, comparing it to my Waynesville Fire Department station one tour, which I took two months ago. Right now we're in the front parking lot of the building. The entrance is just over on the other side. Behind that is the fire hydrant. You guys remember I, I took you guys to this place a couple of times. Now we're going to go on inside and take a look. Sure. Here's the inside of the firehouse. <clears throat> 50 cents in the slot there. Yep. Here's the vending machine. I'm going to grab myself a quick soda and then we'll go on ahead and get to the tour. Like I said, this is Dixon Firehouse, Station 51. What's that? How much? If you look here, we have the uh, main room area. This is actually a volunteer fire department. It is not career. This is basically used as a classroom area. But this area would be used, um, if it was a career firehouse, it would be used as a uh, dining area or a living room area. Over there is the main classroom. And this right here would be a waiting area, uh, waiting for someone, uh, waiting for you to see someone or something. Down this way is where the main entrance is where the main entrance is. Over here's the main entrance. Right out there leads out to the uh, main road uh, where you come into the firehouse. You guys remember that, and uh, that leads out to the main road of where you come into the parking lot. And the parking lot is just over there. There's the logo, and there's the check-in window. You can see it's not in service, but this is where you would check in or uh, ask, a, ask the uh, administrator questions. But this is where the administrator would be. Here's uh, the restrooms. Here's the water fountain. Apparently not hooked up right now. Alright, now we're going to go outside and... Take a look outside real quick. Here's the outside. Right here's Right here's the parking lot area. There's the shine. You can see the shine there. Dixon Fire Protection District. Engine House One. Engine House 3 is located on the uh, south side of Dixon. It's located on the north side of Dixon. There's the entrance and there's the road. There's the signage above. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to put my Pepsi in the truck real quick. Like I said uh, in the first video, we uh, responded direct. We did not respond to the station. We responded direct. Now we're going to go take a look at the apparatus bay which is actually a separate building from the house oh never mind yeah. yep you guys may have seen the apparatus bay a couple times but when you once you come in from the parking lot you come down this way be sure to watch out for the uh drain poles. They make a lot of noise when you step on them. Here is the apparatus bay. Huh? Nothing. Here's the apparatus bay. 
over here is our newer brush truck, brush two. We uh, replaced it. Uh, we replaced the old one, the Ford F-250, with the newer model, uh, the 2019 Ford F-150. Over here is our main engine, engine one. It's a 2020, it's a 2000, uh, 2011 uh, International Dora Star. Yep, you can see the engine here. Here's the inside. Pretty nice, pretty nice looking. And here's transport, transport three. We seen this at the scene, if you guys remember. Pretty nice. You guys remember this? We rode in it last year in the MVA, in the motorcycle MVA. Remember, you guys got to see a helicopter land. This is mainly used for traffic control. All right. Yep, and that's transport three. All right, now we're gonna go have a look in the other bay. This is bay two. Here's how bay one looks from the outside. Like I said, these are three separate buildings. The crew quarters, Epred, AB, AB1, and AB2 are all separate buildings. AB is short for Apparatus Bay. Over here is AB2. Right here is Brush 3. And over there is Tanker 2. Looks like they got it back in service. Hurrah. Here is Tanker 3. You guys remember this truck? Brush 3 is the 2015 Chevrolet Silverado. You guys remember when last September when we responded to a natural cover fire with Rolla fire? Um, apparently uh, we had problems with the lights and the sirens and all that good stuff. But yep, that's where we sat in the middle seat. Yeah, but that's brush, brush three. All right, looks like there's enough gap behind the tanker. I'm gonna see if I can try to go underneath there. Gotta be very careful. Ooh, there's a lot of webs around here. Here's tanker two. No, tanker three. Sorry, tanker three. Sorry. Here's tanker three. Uh, the twenty twenty nine, the two thousand nine Freightliner Columbia. Three feet high. We rode in this uh, twice, actually. We've ridden in it uh, two, uh, three years ago in 2018. Remember, I brought you. We rode in this in 2018, and then we rode in it uh, last year when we responded to that uh, brush fire. We've ridden in it twice last year. Pretty cool, huh? And here's Tanker Two, 2019. No wait, 2013. International Workstar. Yep, it's a Workstar. Looks like they got it back up and running. Ready for action. You can see this baby right here. It's pretty nice looking, isn't it? Very nice. And there is nothing in the other bay. Okay. All right. Well, that concludes the tour of Dixon House. Dixon Engine House uh, 1, comparison to my fire department video tour of Waynesville Firehouse, fifth, Firehouse 1. Hope you all enjoyed the tour. Yep, hope you all enjoyed the tour. Glad you all came. And over there is one of our oldest models. It was stationed at Station, station 3. But then we're tired and then we brought it here. And over there is the trailer. And there's the gate of where the trucks will go out. We're gonna come back here into AB1, head out to the front parking lot. Ugh, dang. Good thing I didn't trip.